The first words that changed my life initially was, I am sorry you have cancer. And then a few years later, is there is nothing that they can do for me. They say that uh, a hero of hope is someone, despite their own cancer journey, goes out of their way to make life a little bit easier for other cancer survivors. So I work with children that has been diagnosed with cancer. There's lots of happy times, but there's also lots of sad times. I remember last year I stood by no less than 30 children that died. When I was diagnosed with cancer, it did not just affect me on a physical side not the emotional side, but there was also the financial implications. In my cancer journey, I ended up being homeless. I moved into the shelter where I spent between two to three months. Every day at the shelter, I came to the cancer offices in Mowbray. I could come and share how I was feeling at that time. Sometimes I would sit at reception or they would ask me if I want to go and do a talk. I was diagnosed six years ago with breast cancer. At the time of my diagnosis, we were three in the family being diagnosed with cancer, me being the youngest one. At that time, it became clear that I needed to share the message of hope. It doesn't matter how hard life sometimes hits you, that there is always hope. When I was nominated, it really came as a surprise and I did not fully understand what it meant to be the global hero of hope. The fact that I can go to the relays and I can encourage people, I can share my story. So I'm living my life to the fullest. I have no regrets. I remember the first relay that I attended and how I did my survivor's lap and I was crying the whole lap. And then when it was the caregiver's lap, I walked alone. I was not just only a survivor, but I was my own caregiver. If you had asked me my dream a few years prior to cancer, I would say that my dream would be to have gone to Disneyland. But my dream going forward is just to live each day to the fullest. You don't need to stop living, you should continue living and that is what I tell my children, that you don't need to sit in a corner and wait for death, you need to love your life. Don't let this bed become your journey, there is still a journey for you that you need to fulfill. I am the global hero of hope, I'm not just global, I'm international global hero of hope.